one of the best kept secrets of finding uh, birds and wildlife at any time of year, but especially this time of year, is these what they'd call brown field sites. Uh, they're derelict, they're overgrown, they're covered in brambles, there's lots of nooks and crannies, people don't want to go there. Um, lots of weeds with natural seed heads on them and that kind of stuff and it makes it perfect for finding some winter colour and some really beautiful animals. And one of the other things I'm going to say about being here is, yeah you can hear all the road in the background, you can hear the cars, but how many birds there are. Pretty amazing actually isn't it? Especially for somewhere that looks like this. This time of year, for people who like watching birds and wildlife, it's the best of times and the worst of times. The weather's typical today, uh, typically rubbish. It's gray, it's miserable, everything's pretty bare. Uh, it doesn't look like there's much around, but in actual fact, because it's bare and because there's not much around, there's lots of birds feeding on these weeds, those kinds of things, and it makes it easier to see some of the color that's easy to miss in the summer. One of the great things about being somewhere like this is you never know quite what you're going to see. Obviously I knew I'd see Bert because I took him with me. But these bullfinches and these goldfinches are both very colourful, pretty little birds and they're difficult to see when the leaves are on the trees and at other times of year when they're busy nesting. But this time of year they come out in the open, have a bit of a stretch. It's nice to be able to see them. There's always the familiar birds, but it's sometimes strange to see them in the setting where they're so next to man-made things. You kind of expect to see them out in the woods, but these areas, sometimes it's a bit of a surprise. Nice to see this little wren as well having a stretch. I love this. I love the way he's doing everything at 100 miles an hour. Look. Good old stretch. And what's prettier than this are everyday common thrush, but with the last little bit of snow and some snowdrops. How pretty is that? A lot of the noise you can hear, a lot of the birds in the background, they're made up of sparrows, which aren't as common as they used to be, but they're still very common in this kind of industrial area where there's loads of nesting sites in these buildings. And this isn't a sparrow, it's a hedge sparrow, uh, Dunnock, having a sing. Beautiful and clear. And something else that's nice is even when it is a bit drab and rainy, it's nice to be able to see the birds out taking advantage of it, they don't mind at all, having a free bath, having a shake and a bit of a shower. They don't look like they mind this weather at all. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you have, please leave a comment and have a look at my website.